Welcome everybody to the Wednesday, June 15, 2022 formal meeting of the Iowa City Planning and Zoning Commission. Um, for uh, the minute takers purposes, uh, commissioners present at this moment are Townsend, Hench, Craig, and Martin. I know an excused absence would be Commissioner Signs, who will be able to, unable to attend tonight. And if additional commissioners come during the meeting, we will note that um, as the meeting is proceeding. So number, so we have called order done. We have roll call. So we'll go to item number three, public discussion of any item not on the agenda. Now is the opportunity for any member of the public who'd like to address Iowa City Planning and Zoning Commission for an item not on the agenda. This is your opportunity. Is there anybody who'd like to address the commission? Seeing no one, hi Maggie. <laughs> we'll go on to the first item on the agenda under zoning code text amendments, case number REZ22-0009. This is consideration of an amendment to Title 14, zoning to clarify historic preservation related regulations. Anne. Good evening, Ann Russett with Neighborhood and Development Services. As the chair mentioned, this is a proposed text amendment related to historic preservation related regulations. This is what staff refers to as a code cleanup. These are four minor amendments that we're proposing tonight. The first is to clarify historic preservation exception applicability. Um, the second is to remove the list of local landmarks, historic districts, and conservation districts from being codified within the text of the code. Uh, the third item is to add an abbreviation for conservation overlay zones, or OCD. And the fourth is related to public hearing notification procedures. All of these amendments have been reviewed by the State Historic Preservation Officers uh, CLG coordinator, the Certified Local Government Coordinator, which is the state employee who um, works with historic preservation programs a across the state, and she had no concerns with the proposed amendment. Um, the, and then the Historic Preservation Commission also recommended approval of these amendments at their meeting last week. And for minute purposes, um, Commissioner P Padron has joined the meeting. Hi. Hello. <laughs> the first, uh, the first uh, proposed amendment is related to clarifying historic preservation exception applica applicability. And our, our zoning code includes exceptions for historic preservation purposes. The code allows the Board of Adjustment to grant a special exception to waive or modify dimensional or site development standards in residential and commercial zones that would prevent use or occupancy of a property that's designated as a local historic landmark or registered in the National Register. It also allows the board to grant a special exception to adaptively reuse a building that's designated as an Iowa City landmark or listed in the National Register to certain other uses that are typically not allowed in the zone. The proposed amendment would clarify that the exceptions apply to properties locate, located in a historic district overlay zone, or zoned OHD, which includes both local historic districts and local historic landmarks. This does not change how staff has interpreted this section over the years. Historically, staff has applied this code section to both landmarks, local landmarks, and local districts. So this is a, a clarification for clarification purposes. The next amendment is to remove the list <coughs> that's currently in the code of local historic landmarks, local historic districts, and local conservation districts. And just to be clear, these districts will, and landmarks will still exist. It will just literally take the list of all the districts and all the landmarks out of the code. We use several methods to track historic properties. The main one is through the rezoning process when city council adopts a rezoning and um, a zones land OHD or a historic district overlay. We also administratively keep a list of all landmarks all dis and all districts within the city as staff. That's available on our website. And then we separately have this list that's codified of all the districts and landmarks. Um, the codified list in the zoning code is not regularly updated. 
and is redundant from the rezoning ordinance that are adopted by council. So we're recommending that they be removed from the code and instead rely on the ordinances that are adopted by council in our administrative lists. The third is to add an abbreviation for Conservation Overlay Zone, or OCD. This abbreviation is on our zoning map, but it's not within our zoning code. So it's just to add, uh, it's just an amendment to add OCD to the code. And that will allow the, the, the zoning text to be consistent with the zoning map. The last, the last proposed amendment is related to the public notification procedures for public hearings at the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, after receipt of an application for a historic landmark or a historic um, local historic district or lo local conservation district, the zoning code requires that a public notice be mailed Though the current requirements have been a source of confusion and complaints from property owners. So the proposed amendment would clarify um, the staff's mailing procedures and who gets notified of the proposed rezoning. Um, the code also requires that proposed local historic districts, local historic landmarks, and local conservation districts be submitted <coughs> to the State Historic Preservation Op Office for review. However, the, the state will not review local historic landmarks or local conservation districts. So the code is gonna be updated to clarify that the state will only review local historic districts and that will help align city policy with state policy related to, to those reviews. Um, I did wanna note that uh, planning staff is working with the city attorney's office to some minor changes to the mailing procedures. Um, it's, a, it's a slight change from what's included in the attachment in your memo, and I, I can go over those if, um, if there are any questions on that. So lastly, staff is recommending that the zoning code be amended as illustrated in the memo to address numerous code cleanup items related to historic preservation, and I can take any questions that you might have. Any questions for Ann on these proposed code amendments or changes? I just have one on the OCD. Um, when you read uh, the the entire wording, it it doesn't uh, match, right? So why is that? Yeah, it's the same. It's um, I don't know why it was set up that way, but it's the same for historic district overlays, okay. which are OHD. So it, for some reason, the abbreviation has the O come first, so it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, we're just be staying consistent with how it's done. But I I hear what you're saying. I was just curious. Yeah. My question is, isn't particularly about the amendments, but just sort of some background on, I was intrigued by the State Historical Preservation Office. Is that, do I have that, does sure. that name right? Um, what, do they have authority? I mean, I looked at their website briefly, and I couldn't really see where their charter came from and I, I didn't have time to do a deep dive but just what do they have the authority to do and what if they said no we don't like this yeah I, you know they they give some discretion to the historic preservation commissions but they they operate the certified local government program and there are certain benefits and incentives that come along with being a certified local government so we have access to grants and technical assistance and there are some state tax benefits, are there, and being in a historical district, or just local? Yeah, they're, yeah that they also deal with uh, state historic preservation tax credits. Yeah. 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 So, so they really have no, it sounds like they, they're sort of there for advice and consent, but not much real. Well, with the tax credits, that's, that's where it comes but, in. Yeah, that's, that's sort of all, their, all them. That's the yeah. stick. Like. And I mean, they they also would review any national register nomination that the city would propose. Um, so there's a lot of coordination with them. Um, and like I said, they would review a proposal for a local historic district. Um, and they, they could make a recommendation that they don't see that it meets the standards. I, I don't know that that happens very often, but I guess it's possible. 
just for my information. Thank you. These are basically rhetorical questions, I guess. I'm kind of surprised that there was ever, it was ever to put in the code of maintaining a list that could be constantly changing. So, I mean, this makes perfect sense. I wonder how that ever got in there in the first place because you, then you'd have to amend the code with a lot of regularity. So obviously that's why you're taking it out. Yeah. I, I'm a little surprised, and I didn't know this, so it was, I, it was fun learning this, that SHPO isn't interested or won't review the local historic landmark designations. I always just assumed that's what they did. So that was uh, uh, informative. They probably don't have the staff. That's probably exactly it. So any other questions for city staff on this? All right. Um, we'll go ahead and open the public hearing. Now is the opportunity for any member of the public to comment on this proposed text amendment. Is there any member of the public who would like to make a comment? Maggie, since you're the only member of the public, do you want to comment on this? Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys take the charge. All right, bless you. Seeing no uh, public coming forward, we'll go ahead and close the public hearing. And could I have a motion on this item? I'm, I move. Go ahead. I move. We have a motion by Padrone. I presume you are uh, recking, recommending that the zoning code be amended as illustrated in attachment one to address the code cleanup items related to historic preservation. Yes, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Second? Yeah. So we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed signify by saying nay. Hearing no nays, the motion passes unanimously to five to zero. Next item on the agenda is consideration of meeting minutes of May 18, 2022. Are there any major additions or corrections that anybody noted in the minutes that they would like to correct? or add to at this moment? Nope. And if not, could I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Motion by Townsend, second by, let me write down here, Martin. <clears throat> discussion. That was a very short meeting. Hearing no discussion, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed signify by saying nay. Hearing no nays, the minutes are approved five to zero. Item number six, planning and zoning information, Ann? I have a few updates, <clears throat> council-related updates. Um, first, the council recommended denial of the proposed Mid-American substation in the county, um, and they recommended approval of the accessory dwelling unit on American Legion Road, also that conditional use permit in the county. They adopted the text amendment for the, the drinking establishment text amendment related to the door between mm -hmm, the yeah. drinking establishment and the retail use. And they adopted the text amendment related to private basic utilities and P-zones. And they also approved the final plat for Hickory Trail. Um, so those are the council-related updates that I have. On the denial of the Mid-American substation, um, did they give a reason? Um, same, same as the commission's recommendation. That was the one they wanted. Right. We needed to. The this well, was for the county. One. The county. It was a recommendation of oh. denial for the okay. county okay. CUP. Okay. You're right. All right. So I had it yes. completely yes. yes. <laughs> for a minute, I'm like, oh, I got to think backwards on that no, one. No. Yeah, there were we two. Also <laughs> and then um, the other information I have is that today is Commissioner Martin's last meeting. Ooh. And so Party. <laughs> I have a certificate of appreciation Hi. that I wanted to present for, to you from our director and from our department. And it's to you for more than 10 years of service to the community as a member of the Iowa City Planning and Zoning Commission. So thank you, Phoebe, for your service. We greatly appreciate it. Speech, speech. Mm -hmm. Will you let me apply again? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was Let me apply again. Is that oh. like allowed? I think they've limited people to two terms, two but terms. that's like at least forever? consecutive. I don't know if that. I thought that was consecutive. Yeah, I don't know so if there's a break. Maybe if you if take you a break, you can come back. I'll try again. I clearly am a glutton for, for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> was it more than 10 years? Uh, I think we were like 10 years plus because when I started, it was actually like in the spring or maybe winter and then then they went to a July mm -hmm. date. Yeah. So 
is technically like 10 and a half. <laughs> I think I had the same thing. So actually, no, you said it. Yeah. Well, I, I would like to say um, one thing I've always appreciated about Phoebe is um, no matter even if she disagreed with people, she was always polite about it. And she stuck to what she believed and stayed with it and uh, didn't make people feel lesser because they may not have agreed with her. Because they were so, wrong. Well, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the skill of, of that. So anyway, I, I've enjoyed every moment of it. You're a, a good person and Thank you, you had a lot of insight um, that I, I certainly lacked and I appreciated always hearing what you had to say and it was very educational for me, plus I just enjoy you as a person, so thank you very kindly. Oh, thank you guys. This was a lot of fun. I and echo that you always know what you're talking about, and you've got so much knowledge. I'm glad this is being recorded. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> so much knowledge that some of us don't have. Yeah. Okay, well, I can't wait to sit in the audience and, and heckle you. And heckle us from the <laughs> You know I will. <laughs> anyway, and probably even more importantly, um, a sincere appreciation for your service because um, this is one of the commissions that there's uh, can be a lot of stress on you, and a lot of people get angry in um, trying to always do yeah. the right thing for the right reasons is is important, and I think you always fulfilled that. And I, don't, I just don't think the people, and frankly, the city council appreciates the people in these all volunteer positions, the time and um, the effort goes into it um, for probably no gratitude other than we appreciate each other and we think we're doing good work, I which is maybe enough. Thank you. I have to say, I have I have received quite a bit of hate mail over the years, oh, no. and I have kept every one of those letters. <laughs> I feel like those are a badge. Yeah. I'm so good, actual I'm letters, not just emails? Oh, letters. Oh, yes. Really? Um, the most, I haven't gotten one yet. I don't know if I'm allowed to say who the most scathing Because they can't from. find your address, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's going, going, sorry, Phoebe. It's going south. <laughs> I know. It's, there's no hiding me. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, don't, I didn't mind them. I was like, oh, they noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Someone listened to me. <laughs> And uh, we're sad to see you go, but again, we appreciate the fact. I believe Maggie will start next month again Yay. and um, lose somebody with great experience, and we're gaining somebody with great experience in the community. So the quality of people that are consistently appointed to this commission, I think, is impressive for Iowa City. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. Liked it. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank all of thank you guys so much. This has been great. You've been a great leader, you know. Anne was a great leader. Um, loved working with Bob Miklo. You've been amazing. You're amazing. Mwah! <laughs> to all my people. <laughs> <laughs> so yay! All right, thank you, Phoebe. Anything else, Anne? I just wondered if you could talk a little bit about. Um, I understand it's not an official thing yet, but the conversation about the north side becoming a schmid is that yeah i don't really have any information on that the city hasn't received an application or anything okay so that's what i thought it's just somebody floating a, an idea yeah. yeah that's my understanding Fire balloons floating about yeah. there did you read the article today yeah. there was yeah. a good article by george shilcock shilcock i think oh yeah. i think i saw one earlier in the week Maybe not one today. It might have been online first. Was it in the Press Citizen? Yeah. Any other member of the commission have something they want to share? You looked like you were going to say something. No. <laughs> oh, okay. And if, if, if not, um, a motion for adjournment? So moved. Motion by Townsend. Is there a second? I think we have to go to Phoebe. No, I was going to decline it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be here till second. next meeting. Oh, a second with Craig. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, signify by saying nay. Nay. <laughs> Motion passes four to one with Commissioner Martin in the negative. Thank you, everybody.